Hey YouTube, MazeFan72 right back at you with another uh, TTM update and also a in-person uh, signing I went to. Okay, go ahead and start off with the uh, TTMs. I have five of five from Danny Tartable. Five of five out of him. I was really surprised. Actually came back 14 days with from Santa Clarita. So, pretty good about that one. Uh, so actually surprised he, he signed all the cards. Next one is Dale Schween. Got that back two or three in 11 days. Uh, two or three in 11 days, Dale Schween. Also got two or three back in 27 days. That is Gerald Young. I got three or three back in 16 days of Bryn Smith. So, so far that's what I got right now. Oh, and also got two or two back for Xavier Hernandez. Actually, the one in the center I got in person, he was, uh, I think he still is one of the assistant coaches at Houston Baptist University, so I actually got that one in person about a year ago, but the, these next two were TTMs that I sent him. I went back through, over my collection, I realized I had more of his cards, so I just sent those two back to him and he signed for me. I did have a failure though. Um, one of the one of the guys I did end up getting in person at one point in time, and I thought it would be a really easy one to get, was this guy right here, Terry Poole. I ended up getting a 3-3. Three three. That's in person. I ended up getting those three. I thought it would be a real easy get. But as you can see, I had found one more card of his, and end up being a failure. And how it ended up becoming a failure is I got this little note back. <laughs> I guess he has some kind of an organization or, or whatever. But basically, it was my letter to him. Uh, basically, they want $10 per card. And here's the ironic thing is he was actually at an event yesterday, which Sunday the uh, September first, twenty thirteen, signing for free. So he didn't sign my card. Um, but like I say, it was just like little note <laughs> attached to it that said that he's gonna start. He's charging ten dollars per card. If I could ever get this note out of here, I can show you guys. Here it is. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, here it is here. It's a little note. Thank you for your interest in Terry Poole. Please send all requests with the self-address stamped envelope to Under the Radar Sports in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Prices per item is $10 for cards, $15 for flats, $20 for baseballs, $25 for bats and jerseys whatever <laughs> I mean I've gotten that guy three times I mean he was he's like a Astros alumni so a lot of times when Astros have something and I bought my little five dollar ticket I've gotten his autograph on in fact I got him on a single signed ball which I'm kind of like like why the hell did I do that I mean he's Terry Poole and I have him on an official Major League Baseball anyway that was I got that over 10 years ago, so. But the the next thing I got is a, um, a signing that I went to yesterday. And look who was there at the signing. Gaylord Perry. I was at his uh, signing. It was through uh, Sports Collectibles of Houston. They brought him in. And I had him inscribe 314 wins. And... Hall of Fame 91. Pretty good turnout to that event, too. Um, 
think uh, the big draw, believe it or not, was Antonio Smith from the Houston Texans. He was out there. <laughs> so it was quite a few people getting his autograph. Uh, it was nice. Nice little turnout for Gaylord Perry as well. But, you know, I think the big team, like I say, it's football country and it's, it's football season. So, yeah, quite a few Texan fans come out to see him. But of course, I already know I need to get Gaylord Perry because the last Gaylord Perry ball I had was kind of fading. Actually had faded. You can't even make out the autograph anymore. So, I just got him on this official Major League ball. Pretty good price, so, you know, in person. I've been so used to doing the TTMs now that you actually get them in person. You're like, wow, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I could have probably got this maybe cheaper if I just sent it sent it off, but it's no big deal. I think you pay for the, the fact that you know it's authentic. In fact, JSA was actually out there, so yeah, as you can see, I got it certified through them. Anyway, that's all I have for right now. Till next time.